Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to share on how you can use basic function in Metasploit to get around the victim machine, create files and folder, and download and upload file to the victim machine. I will be using Windows XP as my victim machine in this tutorial. If you missed my previous tutorial on how to launch an exploit and get into Metapreter, please watch my previous tutorial. Basically, the command to get around in Victim Machine is similar with Linux bash command. So, to check your current working folder in the Victim Machine, you can use pwd command. Other command that you can use is get wd command, short for the get working directory. To change directory, you can use cd command. In this example, I'm changing my current working directory from Windows system to C drive. To make a new directory, you can use mkdir command. This command will create a new directory in the victim machine. In this example, I'm creating a new directory called TGS hack. If you check on the victim machine, you will find TGS hack directory. Now, back into the Metapreter. If you want to create a file in Windows Victim Machine from Metasploit, you can do it from Windows Command Prompt. To run Windows Command Prompt in Metasploit, use the execute command. Type in execute dash f command.exe dash h dash i. It will straight get into the command prompt. If you are using the old version of Metasploit, you need to run the command first, then interact with the active channel. In the command prompt, you should still be in the current working directory, which is TGS hack. Use echo command to create a file with content. In this example, I'm saving the file as hack.txt. To edit the file from Metasploit, use edit command. You need to use vi command to edit the file. Now, I will be going into details on how to use the vi command in this tutorial. Probably, I will cover more on this in my other tutorial. Save the file. The file will change straight away in the victim machine after you save it. Next, we are gonna look on how to download the file or folder from victim machine to your local machine. If you want to know which directory it will download it to, use get lwd command. Get lwd command 
will give you the current local working directory in your machine. To download files or folder, use download command. The file will be downloaded to your current local working directory. Once it is downloaded to your local drive, you can edit, change and do whatever that you want to do with the files and put it back in the victim machine. To put it back in the victim machine, you can use upload command. Upload command will upload files from your local working directory to your victim machine directory. There are other commands that you can use to move and delete the files and folders on your victim machine. I leave it with you to play around and get used to it. If you're not sure about anything, use the question marks to get more information on the command that you can use. All of this basic command is extremely important as you can do a lot of crazy stuff in the victim machine remotely. There is the tutorial for today. If you like this tutorial, please click to subscribe and thank you for watching.